Pimax has just announced these here, the Pimax sword controllers. All the information about Pimax's answer to the Valve Index controllers are coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. What an unbelievably exciting time for VR. Just yesterday, we've learned about the Valve Index controllers costing $279.299 euros. Today, Pimax announces their Pimax Sword and Sword Sense controllers. Yes, there are two different kinds of controllers coming up from Pimax and now we're going to learn about all the details. Pimax has just announced two versions of their upcoming VR controllers. One version with thumbsticks and a touchpad that you can see here on this picture and the other version with just a touchpad like this. Now, this here, what you can see here, the version without the thumbsticks are called Pimax Sword, whereas the version with the thumbsticks and the touchpad is going to be called Pimax Sword Sense. Now, why is it called Sense? Well, because this here is the version, the flagship version, which also has finger tracking, just like the Valve Index controller. Now, let me quote the Pimax press release. Compared with other controllers in the market, Pimax offers two options, both thumbstick and trackpad styles, giving more flexibility to users to choose from. The Pimax Sword controller is a wireless six-stop controller with a trackpad style design, and it can be attached to the user's palm when playing games with the strap. The Pimax Sword Sense is our flagship controller offering and shares the same functionality as the standard Pimax Sword controller, except that it's upgraded to utilize sensors to detect all five fingers and finger movements with a thumbstick design and a touch panel. In addition, both types include a grip button, a menu button, a system button, and a trigger, and are compatible with both versions, 1.0 and 2.0 versions of SteamVR Lighthouse tracking to ensure a better user experience. In the media kit that Pimax has sent to me and other media outlets, we get a couple of pictures and the pictures that you've seen until now are part of this media kit. And this picture is also part of this media kit. And here you can see the two controllers side by side. On the left, you see the Pimax Sword controller and on the right, you see the Pimax Sword Sense controller. I do not think that you can mix and match those controllers because it would not make sense since, well, the left one would not have finger tracking, whereas the right one would have finger tracking. So I suppose that you cannot mix and match those controllers, but I did not have yet confirmation from Pimax about this question. Another really interesting fact that sets apart the Pimax Sword controllers and the Sword Sense controller from the Valve Index controller, for example, is that it features a lithium battery that is replaceable and rechargeable. So if you run out of battery, you can simply replace the battery and you can keep on playing. So that might be great for people who don't enjoy that you well have to first charge your device and that you cannot simply replace the batteries like you can with the Oculus Touch controllers. So that is an important part and well, in my opinion, this is a good move. However, we have not learned from the press release actually how you would recharge those batteries. Would you recharge those batteries directly in the controller? Is there any kind of USB-C connection? We don't know and we cannot tell from the pictures and it's also not mentioned in the press release. I have reached out to, to Pimax to comment on this, but have not yet got a reply. Let's dig a bit deeper into the Pimax press release now and let's find out why they call these controllers sword controllers. Again, quoting the press release now. The name of sword refers to the sort of virtual reality. And the idea is that the Pimax new controller resembles the hilt of a sword that connects the VR enthusiast with a more immersive virtual world. Armed with Pimax sword and sword sense, Users will feel like a true hero while wielding the blade in sword fights and be able to get interactive and immersive motion controls in virtual reality. 
of course, we all want to know now, when will these controllers be available? And according to the press release, it's going to happen in the second half of 2019. So, well, it is not really very clearly pinpointed when they are going to come out other than they are sometime in 2019. Also, the other big question, of course, how expensive are these going to be and will they be much cheaper than the Valve Index controllers? That is the truly big question. And also for that part, we also don't get any information from Pimax. I've reached out to Pimax and asked them the question, but I have not gotten any reply. So either they don't know it themselves yet, or it's going to take a while until they come out with a price. But in my opinion, now would be an amazing time to let us know the price because people are wondering, should they go for the Valve Index controllers, which cost, well, $279, or should they probably go for, for this here, the, the Pimax Sword controllers? And not having the price right now here available, I believe that lots of people are just going to go for the Valve Index controllers, which are amazing. However, I have actually high hopes for these controllers as well. As you probably know, I have checked out some prototypes of these controllers at CES, even though at that time they were still looking a bit different, but I can tell you that they were very, very comfortable. Actually, if you look at the controllers, they do look like the love child of the Valve Enix controllers and the Oculus Touch controllers. So if we simply compare it here, this is the Oculus Touch controller, right? So um, yeah, simply, <laughs> simply um, look look at this like yeah they, they very very much resemble the the Pimax sword controllers right? or let's say the Pimax sword controllers closely closely resemble the oculus touch controllers and well the strap part the strap the strap part it does resemble the the valve index the valve index controllers right if you if you look at that and well it seems like these these two controllers the oculus touch controller and uh, the valve index controllers they were romantically involved with one another and <laughs> here is the result the pimax sword controllers definitely without a doubt very interesting and um, yeah, bringing, bringing the best of wor both worlds together here. Now Pimax only has to deliver and they have to tell us how expensive are these controllers going to be and when are they exactly coming out. Now comparing the Pimax Sword controller with the Pimax Sword Sense controller, in my opinion, the Pimax Sword Sense controller is by far the more interesting controller since, well, it has a thumbstick and it has finger tracking and basically it has everything that the Valve Index controller has. The only function that the Valve Index controller has that the Pimax Sword Sense controller does not have is the pressure sensitive grip here. So this doesn't even have a grip button anymore, the Valve Index controller. The whole part here is pressure sensitive and yeah, you can squeeze things in virtual reality and that's quite compelling. Well, so the Pimax Sword Sense controller only has a grip controller which will allow for binary uh, inputs like, um, yeah, grip button pressed and grip button not pressed. So there is the one difference. Also different, and that is better in my opinion, for the sword controllers is that you can simply take the batteries out and replace them with fresh batteries. Whereas for the Valve Index controller, you have to charge them via USB-C. And I believe that the price is going to be a big factor. I believe that Pimax is going to price them way cheaper than the $279 that the Valve Index controllers actually cost. So now I wanna hear about your opinion. What do you think about the Pimax Sword and Sword Sense controllers? And at what price would you go for the Pimax Sword Sense controller as compared to the Valve Index controllers. Please do leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm very much looking forward to read your comments and I believe Pimax is going to read your comments as well. So 
hit it and um, simply tell us what you think of them and what you think would be a good price for them to compete against the Valve Index controllers. In my humble opinion, Pimax should price the Sword Sense controllers at $179, $100 cheaper than the Valve Index controllers. And I believe these would sell like hotcakes. So dear Pimax, I'm sure you're watching this video. I believe $179 and these controllers would fly off the shelves, especially if they are as good as we believe. And um, yeah, if they are as good as the Valve Index controllers and if they can really compete against these controllers. And for sure, I'm going to review both of these controllers here on MRTV as soon as I got them here. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope it was helpful for you and that you enjoyed it. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.